Hello everyone, we're right here at the Jolie Apartments and as you can see, it's pretty empty behind me. And we just got noticed that law enforcement has been here all morning trying to clear out the apartments to get out everybody that is staying here. Uh, we gotta remember that the mayor just declared an emergency about these apartment complexes and I'm guessing that's why they were here this morning. And I have right now Christopher, Corporal Christopher Bordelow with Shreveport Police Department who is gonna answer some questions for us. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. It's, it's warm out here. Okay, can you please tell us what was happening here this morning? Uh, so, so since Mayor Arsenault declared the public state of emergency for this area, um, the Shreveport Police Department felt that the best action we could take was to actually go through room by room, apartment by apartment, and ensure that all persons are out of this location. So starting early this morning, the Shreveport Police Department Special Response Team, uh, along with other members of the Shreveport Police Department, all converged on these apartments. We went through with the help of the fire department and other city uh, entities and were able to remove all persons that were still in the apartment um, and we're working to ensure that those people that are still left, which is a very small number, uh, have a place to go. And are you able to tell us how many units were you guys being, were you guys able to go in and take people out of? So there were over 400 apartments that we had to actually go into. Um, there's a very small amount of citizens left here, and those that had any uh, illnesses or disabilities, uh, we're making special accommodations to do what we can to try to ensure that they find a new residence because this, this residence here is no longer inhabitable. And I know we've heard that uh, the main reason for this emergency that was declared, it was because, um, you know, it was a public safety you know, and, and health, you know, health stuff. So can you talk to us about why was it important to get them out? Well, and I can say personally, uh, many of our members, including myself, went through these apartments today, and the living conditions here are unlike anything I've ever seen in my 14 years. Um, with no water and no electricity, uh, living in these apartments, there's no way to sustain life with the amount of mold and, and damage that, that's going on here. So uh, the easiest way and the most productive way for the Shreveport Police Department to actually enforce the public safety declaration was to go through room by room, apartment by apartment, to ensure that everyone is safely out of these apartments. And can you tell us what can we expect uh, throughout the rest of the day? So this, these apartments are going to be monitored. Um, any person that comes back on the property will be dealt with appropriately up to being arrested if that's necessary. So we are encouraging and at this point not, not only encouraging, uh, demanding that anyone on the Jolie apartments leave and if not they will be arrested. Okay, and is there anything else that you think our Shreveport citizens, our collected citizens that are going to be watching this right now need to know? Well, they need to know that the situation here is going to get better. Um, these apartments are now going to be empty, and now the process can begin uh, from, from City Hall and can be what can be done to try to revitalize this area. Okay, guys, you just heard him. Uh, it's going to... I mean, nobody can trespass this place anymore, and they're gonna be here monitoring every every single thing that happens. And that was Naidu Dasamaya reporting live in the Jolie Apartments.